most of you should recognize Godzilla. I was asked by a friend to do this Godzilla image as a collage in my style, a gift to a family member. And I said, why not? I definitely remember Godzilla. I am a child of the 70s. I wasn't a big fan of sci-fi in general, but my brother definitely loved Godzilla. And I, I'm excited about this challenge, this commission, this project, this collage. I'm curious to see what I come up with. The cradle board and Godzilla's image are both 8x10. I don't know how long this is going to take me. I hope my perfectionism doesn't get in the way because it takes all the fun out of collage. But I'm going to just going to go ahead and start working on it as I normally would. Nothing different in my approach. So I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side for a minute. And I'm going to go through the ephemera that I already have. So as you can imagine, I am thinking green. Godzilla is, for some reason, came out green on this printout for my computer. So I have a lot of green imagery. I also have some text. You gotta have a map of Japan on a Godzilla collage, maybe. As I've shared before, I try to collect as much ephemera as I can. Maybe ephemera I'm not even going to use because the more options that I have, the more interesting my work turns out. So I'm giving myself plenty of options here and I'm also concentrating on the complementary colors for green, which would be, I believe, uh, oranges and some reds. I just basically grabbed anything that I was delighted by, and that is how we should approach collage anyway. Got a lot of flags here. Definitely a flag of Japan might make an appearance in this image. I am not sure yet. Also, my concern for this collage, and I mean concern in a nice way, I don't know what to do yet for the background. So. I am just going to start going through all my ephemera, just putting things off to the side, and I'm going to start cutting. See what I like and take out what I don't. I am very excited about using stamps in this collage. Whether or not these stamps will make an appearance in the Godzilla collage, I'm not sure yet, but I have them at my disposal. I also have some really dainty little stamps from Japan that I want to use for sure. And some that are not from Japan, but they're kind of reminiscent for me of the silly Godzilla movies. I'm sorry, if you like Godzilla, I didn't mean to insult the silly Godzilla movies, but I was watching some images, some scenes on YouTube of Godzilla movies, and I thought, hmm, wonder why I kind of enjoyed them as a kid. I love old money, old foreign money. This isn't, this unfortunately is not a yen. Um, I believe it's from Peru. I'll see if it works. I love the design on it. I love the look, the patina of the money. I do wish I had some Japanese money. That would be so cool, but not not for not this time. So these are some of the pieces I'm really excited about maybe using in my work. I like using money and stamps in collage because the material is very strong. As you can imagine stamps and money, they go through a lot of transactions, a lot of hands, so they need to be tough. I believe money actually has cotton fibers in it to keep it strong. So I'm just again going to turn on the time lapse, take my time and show you what I'll be cutting out. I'll be doing some really exact cuts and I'm kind of excited about that. Sometimes I find that very soothing and it also helps me to get my ideas going.
things I want to share with you to include you in my thinking process. So I stole these borders from a magazine page. Nothing unusual about that. And the reason I am I might include these, but I'm setting them up to the side, and there are four of them, is when I work with a cradle board, collage, decoupage, I do want to consider my sides. I've discussed this in my other decoupage videos, and shameless self-promotion. If you are in the Southern California area this January, I am going to be conducting an intense a fun but intense five-week collage course with techniques of collage that I share here on the channel, decoupage and collography. This collage commission I'm doing is, in essence, a decoupage. But when I work with my cradle boards, I always want to consider my sides. And because I mentioned my class, I'll go ahead and leave you some information in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. It's important to think about if it's going to go with the other ephemera. I don't think too much about it maybe going with the content of Godzilla because that takes all the fun out of it and collage has an absurdity to it that we can all relate to I believe. So that's why I just went ahead and grabbed these really cool flowers and we'll be including them. Something else I was thinking about, you go to libraries and they have their wonderful little bookstores and they're selling old books. Grab those old books. You get vintage stuff and you get some wonderful material like this. I'm looking at this and it's not Japan. I don't believe it's Japan. It's Hong Kong actually. So it's Hong Kong. It's a beautiful photograph of the cityscape. I might might be including this in the Godzilla decoupage. So let's keep working at it. Other elements of decoupage. See-through rice tissue type paper. There is a specific term for this paper. I believe it's a mulberry rice paper and I do love it. I am limited though. I only have a couple of pieces left over from other projects. Because this is decoupage, I automatically think I need to use rice paper or mulberry paper. You don't have to, but I might. So I have it ready to go. But there's only a couple small pieces and we have four sides we need to cover and obviously the picture plane. So I want to be careful with um, balance and I want to make sure I have enough. It looks like I'm going to have enough ephemera. I should anyway, but again, I collect a lot and I just start cutting away. I'm going to keep cutting and then we're going to go to the palette part of collage making. So I'm going to get back to work here. I hope this is some nice ASMR for all of you. my favorite part of collaging, collecting that paper, that ephemera, and cutting it up and thinking as I go along. And it works for me quite well. I was looking at these image, images and thinking that they are going to probably make an appearance on the sides of the cradle board. But I have plenty. If I'm careful, I can cut out each one of these pieces. I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of board game. So I'm just setting them off to the side actually on top of the cradle board. I have a bunch of scary skulls. Am I going to use them? I don't know, but I do like them. I've always liked skulls. 
and these orbs, because after all, Godzilla does have some orb action going on here. I don't know yet. I want to share with you, again, my process, my, my thinking process as I'm going through all of this. I grabbed out of a dictionary just some text. This obviously is uh, the, the word Japan. Very small. I'm not going to expect anybody to read it. There's a lot of um, the words Japanese here, like Japanese beetle, um, Japanese ivy, Japanese quince. Mm, sounds good. I might use some text in here, so I have that option. Again, the more pieces of ephemera you have, the more options you have, it doesn't mean you have to use every single piece. I'm not a painter, I've shared that before, but I do treat my collages like a palette. And I try to get everything into something of a color wheel. So here we have some oranges going on. I love orange. It is one of my very favorite colors. It has some really great energy. And then I got some interesting yellows. Just going to pile them up in their own little corner here. This is actually more gold than anything. And here we got some more oranges. So the warmer colors, I'm going to put them off to the side. Is yellow going to play a part in Godzilla? Well, he does have some teeth going on. Of course, the eyes. The eyes are very important to me um, for all my collages when I'm doing a subject. So it's no different for Godzilla, even though he's a monster. So I'm just going to set these off to the side. I also have going on here the purples. I was talking about the complement of green. I believe that is a complement. I also have some images that are more photographic. I think this is also a ancient calculator. I don't remember the word. I know it starts with an A, Abascus or something like that. I think that's what it is. I like it for the green and for the circular design. Some more just pictures, really. They're photographs of design. This is really cool. Am I going to use them? Still don't know. Maybe not in this collage. And that's another fun part about this process. Even if I don't use anything, I can go ahead and slip it back into a nice plastic sleeve. It'll stay nice and safe. And I can use it in another collage. Or even while I'm working on this collage, I get an idea for another collage, a totally separate collage. Some blue, not too much blue going on here in this collage, I don't think. We'll see. I might put that on the side. Ah, but the green, green will be so important. And this red. You can see I cut these out early on. Some little ruby jewels. I think I'll put them with my orange right now. I did collect a lot of green because I know Godzilla's green. I think Godzilla's green, maybe, probably could even pass for like a an indigo or a, I don't know, kind of like a dinosaur creature. I don't really know the origin story with Godzilla. I just remember seeing the movies on Channel 5 on a Saturday afternoon and the scary roar that Godzilla made, and I knew I was watching a Godzilla movie. Some more wonderful design in green. I really like this too. I got it from National Geographic, I know that, and that scaly spot, that scaly stuff going on. Yeah, you can't go wrong with scales and Godzilla. More green, lots of green, different greens. Found this earlier today in a home dec decor magazine. And of course, my little stamps and money. So, this is where we're at. I should be getting ready to start my decoupage. Some very exact cuts. Have This is more blue than green. So we, we're just gonna mix it up because that's the freedom you have with collage. You can really do anything you want. You know, if something is complimentary or not, analogous, just uh, go with what feels good. That's what I've been doing and I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time right now. Just um, collecting here and seeing what I'm gonna come up with. 
So it's time to start building Godzilla.